Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thank you for asking me, if I am not armed and if I do not hurt anyone, am I responsible for the acts of my co-defendants? So you and a buddy decide that you're gonna burglarize my house. You specifically agree beforehand, no one is going to carry a weapon and if anybody's at home, you're gonna hightail it and run. But as often is the case, things don't go as planned. So when you get inside, not only am I home, but I confront you. And then to your surprise, your buddy pulls out a knife and to his surprise, I pull out a shotgun. Knowing that I've already called the cops and they're on their way, I decide to hold you there at gunpoint. And when the cops show up, both you and your buddy are arrested. The bad news is you're both gonna be charged with armed occupied residential burglary and you're both going to face life in prison. This is because of the principle theory and it holds that anybody who helps another to commit a crime is equally accountable as each other person who was involved in the crime regardless of their actual intent or role in the offense. It doesn't matter that you are not armed, and it doesn't matter that you had specifically agreed that no one would be armed. In Florida, you're going to be held equally accountable for all of the actions of your co-defendants. So, when you were a kid and your parents told you that you would be judged by the company that you kept, they weren't joking. And when it comes to criminal court in Florida, you truly will be judged by the company that you choose to keep. Thank you for your question. I appreciate your having asked it, and I invite you to ask me more. Please remember that at Michael A. Haber, PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, please subscribe. We'll be putting out more soon.